Now, let's jump into the subjunctive. Here we go. Now, you may want to get something to write on, a pluma, boligrafo, hoja de papel, all right, and get ready to take a few notes. Because one of the things I want to say about subjunctive first is that you really have to get a handle on when to use the subjunctive first. It's one of those things where, you know, we have to understand the conditions that we're supposed to bring it in. What's it for? You know, what is the subjunctive? Well, let me just start basic for you, okay? First of all, the subjunctive, I'm going to kind of try to explain this and then give you some examples so that you kind of get what I'm saying, all right? The subjunctive, the the best and first thing I can tell you about it is that we have two subjects of the sentence. Okay, so we know at the beginning of a sentence we have a subject like I or you or he or she or a, or a name. Well, in subjunctive, what we do is we have another subject that follows it. Okay, and I'm going to give you some examples just so you kind of understand what I'm talking about. All right, she wants you to leave. Now, I hope that's not the case. But she is the subject, she wants, verb, okay. But now we've changed to a different subject. She wants you to leave, okay? That's subjunctive. Uh, two subjects. Now, here's another example. They want us to sing a song. They, and then we switch to us. They want us to sing a song, okay? One more. We want him to fix the car. Okay, we and him, two different subjects that we're talking about. We want him to fix the car. All right, now those are some examples of how we have two subjects. Now, I'm going to teach you a little way to remember the conditions of subjunctive, and it's a weird word. It's weirdo. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Let's put that up. W-E-I-R-D-O, weirdo. Now, a lot of Spanish teachers and people online, you'll find this all over the place. A lot of people teach this as a way to remember when we use a subjunctive, all right? So what I want to go, I want to do is go letter by letter, and I want to teach you what each one of those letters stand for um, to help you understand that, okay? So first of all, let's just kind of go down through there. First of all, the W stands for wishes and desires. Wishes and desires. So when we're stating wishes or desires, a lot of times we're going to use the subjunctive. Here's some examples in English. I hope he arrives early. I hope he arrives early. Okay, so I hope, I'm the subject now, he, he arrives early. And I'm hoping that. That's my desire or wish. Okay, here's another one. We want you to cook dinner tonight. We want you to cook dinner tonight. Two different subjects really thrown together. and it's a wish or desire, okay? So that's, that's the first way we use subjunctive. And don't worry, in just a minute, we're gonna go back and put some of these in Spanish to show you how we do the subjunctive in Spanish after we understand when we use the subjunctive, okay? The E stands for expressions or emotions. Expressions or emotion. Let's look at some examples, okay? I am really happy you're here. And I am, by the way. I am really happy you are here. I'm the subject. You're the subject. Second, I'm really happy you're here. All right. I, it makes me sad that you're angry. There's another example. It makes me sad that you're angry. Okay, so it, and you know, I'm kind of talking about what happens to me first, and then we're talking about that you're angry. Another subject, all right? So that's an example of expression or emotion. Now let's move to that I in weirdo. Impersonal expressions, okay? Impersonal expressions. Here's an example. It is really not related to any person. It's necessary that we have a license before driving. You see, that really doesn't reply to a person. Specifically, it's impersonal. It's just people in general. So it's necessary that we have a driver's license, a license before driving. That's what I said. Okay, here's another one. Now the R, let's go to the R, another part of weirdo. R stands for recommendations and requests. 
recommendations and requests. Here's an example. I recommend you read that book. Okay, I recommend you read that book or I recommend you read the book, either one. So that's my recommendation. I'm recommending, but then I switch it to you as the second subject. I recommend you read the book. Now, she needs you to do your homework. So first it's she, then it's you. She needs you to do your homework. All right, and kids, if you're out there, do your homework. It's important. All right, so that's a change of subject. Now let's go to the D in weirdo. D stands for doubt or denial. Doubt or denial. Here's some examples. I doubt he will be here. Okay, so I start with I is the subject, now he is the subject, so I doubt he will be here. All right, now, I'll teach you a little word here. It's this one. Ojalá. Ojalá. And if I'm not mistaken, this actually comes from Arabic origin. Uh, Arabs in Spain, quite a history, right? Read up on that. So ojalá means God willing, I hope, I pray, I wish, or if only. It, that's kind of what ojalá is. So here's an example. God willing, he arrives on time. Okay, Running late, something important. God willing, he arrives on time. Uh, I wish, I hope, if only, all of that is ojalá. So we're using ojalá. We're typically going to put that subjunctive there. Okay, now that takes care of weirdo. Now what I want to recommend is that maybe you take some time to memorize weirdo, those conditions. Now I also recommend, because our lesson is only so long here on YouTube, I also recommend that you look up some more examples. Okay, I've given you some starts here, but look up some more examples so that you are really understanding um, what weirdo is. Pull in more examples. Put them in your mind. Make sure that weirdo is solidified in your head. That sounds funny. Make sure weirdo is solidified, and then maybe you want to start looking at practicing it in Spanish. Okay? Now let's talk about how we do the subjunctive. If you're ready to move on to this part of the lesson and you feel really solid with that. Let's talk about how we do the subjunctive, okay? And I want to just take a few examples that we did a while ago when we talked about weirdo, and I want to first reword them because we really kind of have to reword in our head some of those phrases before we put them into Spanish, okay? Let's look at that sentence that we did a while ago, I hope he arrives early, okay? What you're really going to say is, I hope that he arrives early. Now, you remember a few lessons ago when we did the word que, Q-U-E, with no accent? That's what we're talking about, that word. So we're going to use que as that. So I hope that he arrives early. Okay, now remember that one we did a while ago? We want you to cook dinner. We want that you cook dinner. Okay, so that's kind of the rewording that we have to do in our heads before we put it in the subjunctive, okay? Now, let's talk about the formula for doing the subjunctive in present tense, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the present tense yo form, and you know sometimes they're troublemakers, right? Okay, so we take the present tense yo form, and that is gonna be the stem of the verb. Yes, even if it's an irregular, like, you know, tener is tengo. You know, we don't say tengo, we say tengo. Okay, but that yo form in the present tense is going to be our root, our starting point for the subjunctive verb. So I want that, that verb after it, that's going to be the root, okay? We're going to look at some examples, don't worry. Now, we take that root yo form as our verb. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip the endings. Remember how I've told you several, you know, in the last couple of lessons or a few lessons ago, I told you that when we get to subjunctive, we're going to be flipping the endings. Here it is. All right, and I'm going to give you some examples. So AR verb endings are going to use E's. ER and IR verb endings are going to use A's. So they're flipped. Okay, now with that, 
Now that you know the conditions and that formula for making the verb and to use que, I think we can start putting all this together, okay? So let's go back through several examples. I hope he arrives early. I hope that he arrives early. Let's put it into Spanish. Watch this. Espero que okay, llegue temprano. Espero que llegue temprano. Okay, and remember, G, you're going to have to put that U there. We've talked about that before in this particular case. But we're using the E at the end of llegar instead of the A, llega. All right. So we've got to have that U in there because, you know, the E there, uh, that's a different lesson. But espero que llegue temprano. Let's look at some more. We want you to cook dinner tonight. Let's do that one. We want that you cook dinner tonight. Here it is in Spanish. Queremos que cocines la cena esta noche. Okay, so cocinar to cook now is ending with es instead of as. Okay, now let's go back through that expressions and emotions example we did a while ago. I I'm really happy you're here. Okay, I'm really happy that you are here. Estoy muy feliz de que estés aquí. Now, when you say you're happy about something, you put de. Remember, de can sometimes imply about. All right, so that's why de is there. But estoy muy feliz de que, there's the that, estés ending in an ES instead of an AS that we normally do with estar aquí. All right, <clears throat> let's do another one. It makes me sad that you're angry. Okay, it makes me sad that you're angry. Me pone triste que estés enojado, mad. Okay, so it puts me sad is how we say it makes me. It puts me, me pone triste que estés. Aquí, we're using ES instead of AS. Let's keep going with examples. Impersonal expressions. It's necessary that we have a license before driving. Let's put that one in Spanish. Es necesario que tengamos una licencia antes de manejar. You may also see conducir as to drive. But it's necesario que tengamos, the verb ten, tengo, tengo, do yo form, but we put A-M-O-S. Because it's an E-R verb, we flip it to A. So, tengamos una licencia antes de manejar o conducir. All right, let's do that. Recommendations and requests. I recommend that you read the book is what we're saying. I recommend you read the book. I recommend that you read the book is really what we're implying. So, te Recomiendo que leas el libro. So you read as lees, es, we change it to es. So te recomiendo que leas el libro. All right. Now, she needs you to do your homework. Remember that one while ago? She needs you to do your homework. She needs that you do your homework. Ella necesita que hagas tu tarea. Remember the yo form of hacer? Hago, H-A-G. Que hagas tu tarea. All right? Let's go to doubt and denial. I doubt he will be here. Now, to doubt is dudo, and we, always, we use que after it, so I doubt that. So, dudo que él esté aquí. I doubt that he is here. And we can imply the simple future with present tense, right? So I doubt that he will be here. Dudo que él esté aquí. Now let's use that ojalá, okay? God willing. <laughs> so God willing, he arrives on time. Ojalá que llegue a tiempo. Ojalá que llegue a tiempo. And there you have it, my friends, mis amigos. 
That is how we do the subjunctive. So what I want you to do is take some time to first get those, as I said, get those conditions down, all right? And then move on to start bringing in those uh, examples into your conversation. What's the key? I always tell you, practice, 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 okay? Uh, it was really cool because somebody just messaged me uh, yesterday and they said they just got back from Bolivia. I love Bolivia. I've been there five times. But he said, I've got friends now in Bolivia I can practice with. I said, that's great. I emailed him back and said, man, that's awesome. That's how you get fluent is practicing it all the time. So put subjunctive into your conversations, okay? You can do it. People always try to get, oh, no, it's the subjunctive. No, 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 no. It's, it's really not deal. It's really not. Okay. But keep practicing. And, and guys, let me know how you're doing with your Spanish. Uh, you know, send me a voicemail. I'll, I'll include it on the podcast if I get, get it from you. Um, you can shoot that email to me at dannyevans3371 at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. I wish for you and your family paz y bendiciones, peace and blessings. I'll see you next time. Hasta pronto. Friends, thanks for watching The Language Tutor. If you have a question for me, feel free to leave it in the comment section below the video. And please click subscribe and the notification bell so that you'll never miss any of our language lessons.